Hey folks, as you can see, I'm out here at the old workbench today. I'm going to show you how to build your own solar generator and save some money. So hang on. Orlando Prepper coming at you. Let me start off by saying if you hear some aircraft noise, I'm sorry. The way the wind's blowing today, everything flying into OIA is going right over my head. So I'm going to start off by showing you the tools you need and the components that you need to put together a little portable uh, solar generator. It'll save you money. As a matter of fact, you're going to build it for about half the price of one that you would buy. So let's start off with the tools. You're going to need a drill with a hole saw, one and one eighth inch hole saw. Going to need a jigsaw or some kind of saw you can cut thin wood with. Wire strippers and cutters. And basically that's all the tools that you're going to need right there. Now the components you're going to need, that's a little different. You're going to have to start off with the large ammo can. This is the uh, MTN brand. MTN brand. Get the large one. Uh, I bought this one off of Amazon a couple days ago. Only paid 12 bucks for it. Caught it on sale. Got $5 off. Next thing you're going to need is a charge controller. Renergy. It's a good one. You can buy them cheaper. I paid 20 bucks for this one. But with these components, these electronic components, you get what you pay for. So go ahead and buy a good one. Because this is going to last a long time if you take good care of it. Next thing you're going to need is some of the cigarette lighter type jacks. You're going to need at least two that are just a cigarette lighter type. Because you're going to use one for pulling your solar power in from the panel. And the other one you're going to use to plug in whatever 12 volt appliance or light or whatever you have. And the other I have to recommend is one with two USB ports on it. Charging your cell phone, your iPad, whatever. But that's all you need as far as, uh, you know, the electronic components go. Three, uh, three of these. You're also going to need a battery, of course. So, this is a Thunderbolt 12 volt 35 amp battery. I bought it at Harbor Freight. Paid 60 bucks for it. Go online and get the 20% off coupon. It's going to cost you the same. About 60 bucks. So what we got? Got 60. And 12 is 72. 20 for that is 92. And these little jacks here. I bought the two regular 12 volt jacks. Two of them for 10 bucks. $102. Paid $5 for that one, $107. I have $107 in all the components here. And it's going to be easy to put together. So, hang on a second. Let me rearrange a few things here and we'll get right to that. All right, let's get to work. First thing you want to do is open up your box here. From the top, go down about an inch. About an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And get you a measurement across there. Your length. I got 13 inches. My width. I have 8 inches. Because we're going to cut a piece of wood to fit in there. But we want it to be down below the top. So here's what we're going to do. Don't think you need me to show you how to use a saw. If you do, let me know. I'll do a demonstration for you, but I think we all know how to do that. Use my little jigsaw here and had it cut in no time. Bingo. It was done. Cut a piece of wood. 13 by 8. So it'll fit right in there. It's going to set in here like this. But before we do that, there's one more thing we have to do. I'm going to take that piece of wood, set it down here. I'm going to take the battery, and we're going to set it right in the center, like that. Let me pull this down a little bit. Right in the center, 
at one edge long ways at one edge then we're going to mark right around that with a sharpie and your wood should look like this that's going to be the bracket that holds your battery in place and the box plus you need this extra room here put your charge controller so let me get this cut I'll be right back with you okay when you finish cutting your wood it should look like this and when you put it in your box the side you use to, to lock it to open it up with the opening goes to the back it'll set right down in there like that and of course your battery goes in here basically all this piece of wood does is keep your battery from shifting in the box while you move it and it holds your charge controller which will be right here like this when we get finished so let me drop that battery in there and show you what we got that's the way it's going to look right there that's what you're going to have the battery can't move so as you carry this box around battery weighs 35 pounds so it's not hard to get it move it around take it outside to charge it I'll show you how to do that when we get to that point but that's what you got your battery set in place and now we're ready to start working on the component or electronic component okay now we're going to put our sockets in there that we're going to use we're going to wire up and run to our charge controller we're done with the saw so you're not going to need that anymore so here's what we're going to do on this box where it opens come from the bottom up about two inches and make you a mark with your sharpie just a little black dot now we want to come inside from the side about inch and a half all right from that that mark we want to come over two inches and then from the other side you want to come in two inches mark your three dots there because that's where we're going to make some holes see the three dots all right this is where we use our hole saw one and one eighth if it's any bigger it'll be loose if it's any smaller these sockets won't fit in there so let's drill a hole Now these, this should fit right inside there. Let's see. Bingo. Works perfect. I'm going to drill the other two and I'll be right back with you. As you can see, it's getting a little hot here in Orlando, but hey, we're going to do this project anyway. Here's what your box should look like when you get through drilling your holes. You got two here that's pretty close together. You got one that's kind of offset. That's going to be the input from, from the solar panel. So once you get these cut, you can put your sockets in there we're going to go with a regular 12 volt socket here these come with washers and caps it makes these waterproof so you can actually take this camping with you uh, that's what we do I got one you know another one I actually gave it to my daughter she's been doing a lot of camping I just said hey go ahead and keep it I'll make me another one even though it costs a little more but once you put these in, the one that goes to the solar panel, <clears throat> I'll put it over there on the left. These just screw in and tighten up just like that. So I put this one on the left, screw that in there tight. 
Let me turn this up here so you can see what I'm doing a little bit. I know your camera angle is a little weird, but I just screw it in place. <clears throat> Tighten it up hand tight. You see that rubber washer is squeezed in place behind this lip. Close that up and it's waterproof. Let me put these other two in, and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, we got those in place. Let me show you what I did here. So I, I'm getting old, and I don't want things to mess up. So the one where the solar is going in, it pops open from the bottom up. The other two pop open from the top down. The USB is in the middle. The 12 volt output is on the far right side. That way I don't mess up and stick my solar panel into the wrong one. All right. <laughs> but it's that simple. They screw in. Like I showed you, each one of them has a terminal. Let me pull this down here. You got a positive and a negative on each one. So you run your red and black wires. It's easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. So hang on now we're going to get into the wiring yes i have on a different color shirt because i started making this video yesterday right in the middle of it come a downpour so i had to close down shop out here and take all my electronics in the house but today's another day so let's get to the wiring this is what the inside of the box looks like you can see that each one of these have two terminals positive and a negative and right there that's the one that's going to bring the solar power in um, it already has the black and wire hooked up but the other two here we got to hook those together and run them into one power source so let me show you what i did so the usb and the 12 volt outlet have to run off like i said one power source so what i did i spliced this wire put two connections on it one will go to each one of those outlets the 12 volt the usb a black one and a red one for a positive and a negative so let's hook those up and we'll go from there this is what your connections look like on all three we have the black wire here and the red wire here that that is spliced together we're going to run those up to the charge controller just like we're going to do with the power coming in from the solar panels well, it's starting to thunder again today, so see if we can knock this out today and get it over with. Earlier in the video, I told you you were through with your saw. Well, I made a mistake. You have to make notches, little notches for your wires to come through from under here. They're going to be actually ground under here and come up through. So let's get this in place, get those wires run up through there. And then this thing, all we have to do is hook it up. So let's go with it. Let me turn this down here. All right. You can see I got all my wires here. This little tab has an O on it. That's for outlets. This one has an S. That's for solar. That's the one coming in from the solar panels. These two come from the battery. Run our power from our battery to here. So let me get this in place. You'll see these wires coming up through here and you'll see what we got. Okay, here's what we got. You can see all the wires are hooked into the charge controller. The one with the S, the tab with the S, that was the solar coming in. We can take that off. It hooks into the charge controller. The two screws on the left, you see the little solar panel on it there. The one on the right has the tab with the O on it for the outlets so we can take that off there we didn't mix those up either and then the two in the middle come off the battery you see all your wires are underneath this top deck that we made to hold the battery in place your charge controller is displaying several readings here amps volts uh, power on and off the 15 is the power on and off, so we can actually plug something in here and see if it works. 
the power is on so let's give it a shot all right let's hook up a light into this 12 volt jack here and see if it works got me a little 12 volt light here and bingo we have power now let's hook in the usb let me plug up my phone here and let's see if it starts charging here we go i'm gonna hold that right there hopefully you can see it i know the sun's reflecting on it but there we go it's charging it's definitely charging so we know these work this is what your finished box looks like on the inside if you want you can actually add an on and off switch you have to put it in the positive power line running to the battery but you could easily mount one right here however it's not necessary i kept this as simple as possible so anybody could do it and i think it'll work out well for you okay that's it guys i'm saying with the wiring that i already had here i didn't have to buy and the connections on the end of the wires which i already have here but if you do have to buy all those things i'm going to say the total price for this box is going to be about 120 dollars total you got 420 watts of power there now if you go out and you try to buy a portable solar generator you're going to be paying i know a dollar or more per watt for what the power is in the box but most of those don't come with the panel if like the jackery you can buy a 300 watt jackery solar generator for right at three hundred dollars that's just 300 watts you got 420 right here but the jackery don't have the panels with it so you got 120 dollars in this you can buy you a 50 watt solar panel for you know between 50 and 60 dollars or if you want to go bigger a 100 watt solar panel which will charge it quicker you're going to pay between 80 and 100 dollars for that still at most at the very most you're at 220 dollars for 420 watts of power if you just get that small 50 watt panel you're at 170 dollars 180 dollars maybe big savings there guys big savings and this like many others don't do has a flow through system on it while you're charging it you can use it uh, several of them out there do but many of them don't but that's another advantage of building this yourself on top of the savings you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna save a lot of money all right i think that's long enough i'm sorry this video was long it's much longer than the ones i normally do but i think this will help you guys out in the long run if you want to build one of these if you have a problem shoot me an email the orlando prepper at gmail.com if you're going to put one of these together and you need me to help you out with it, just shoot me an email. I hope I covered everything. I might have. I hope I did. If I didn't, let me know. I'll be glad to correspond with you and we'll get you one put together. So with that, I'm going to say stay strong, stay patriotic. It's Independence Day today, guys. It's not the 4th of July. It's Independence Day. You don't celebrate December 25th, do you? Nope. You celebrate christmas independence day is the same way always remember why we celebrate on this date our independence god bless america i'll holler back at you later